What's up, America? What are we doing today? Today is Saturday, the day before the Super Bowl. Okay? Just so we have a time reference of when today is. What you got there? What are you doing with that? This here was my granddad's Dietz number two lantern. For those of you into lanterns. Well, why do you have that out today, Cyrus? Because me and the Zan Man, while the rest of you are watching the Super Bowl tomorrow, me and the Zan Man are going camping. Not totally primitive camping. We're going to a campground. It has a lake. And it has electric power and water. But we are going to go camping in a tent. And the low is supposed to get down to 36, 37, 36 tomorrow night. So it's going to be a little bit chilly. But we're going to have a heater and all that. I'm going to try to do a video on that. With the utilizing the WJ course we've been working on that so now let's go camping nothing crazy no off-roading we're still going to be on the pavement but we're going to load this thing down with our camping um, accessories and we're going to go camping all right should i have this as close to the vehicle will it catch on fire i don't know while we're on that subject i wanted to ask you folks that watch overlanding videos and camping videos out of vehicles those people that have those fancy, fancy Jeep Wranglers and they have the fancy kitchen setups in the back. They use propane stoves. That looks, I don't know. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable doing that, having a propane, their, their lift gate, their tailgate, we'll call it tailgate, swings out and they have a tabletop there and it's got propane on it. That would seem kind of close to the gas tank to me. I would be sketched out about all that, but a lot of professionals overlanding channels are doing that. So I'm going to put this out now. All right, put that down there. So we're going to do a beer of the weekend. Tomorrow is camping excursion. I haven't done a lot of research on this. It's one of the 12 pack we picked up. And I got to looking at it. Today is 2-11-2023. What does that mean? I got to looking at the best buy date on the bottom of this. Drink by 9-30-21. We missed that by a year and some months. The old local grocery store had this sitting on the shelf for a little too long we're gonna drink it anyways so I can't really honestly if this tastes terrible I honestly couldn't tell you it was because that the date was out of date so it's a win-win for them what do we have here I didn't look this up on the internet I have no idea about the company wicked weed brewing wicked weed brewing Watermelon, dragon fruit, burst, S E S S I O N, sour. Is that Session? Session sour? Session sour. I don't know. It's not seasonal sour. Session sour. You guys let me know in the comment how dumb I am right now for not knowing what that word is. So we got a sour beer this may be uh i don't know if we've had one of these on the channel or not for beer of the weekend um it's cool to get these every once in a while because they do can taste kind of very sour make your lips bitter up pucker up okay where are these guys out of l with watermelon flavor dragon fruit powder and natural flavors brewed and canned at wicked weed Brewing in Asheville, North Carolina. 4.5% alcohol. And that is all the information you have. If you want more, you're going to have to go on to, the, to their website. 
and this is 9 30 21 they might not even have this one anymore you may not be able to drink this one anymore okay without further ado let's quit rambling this thing is still on a little bit all right so right off the bat as old as this is, is probably why I didn't get that highly carbonated sound. Let me show you the can before we forget. You guys watch Super Bowl? I'm not watching the Super Bowl. I don't really care for it anymore. It's been years since I've really cared about football. Are you watching it tomorrow? I can do my own twerking during the halftime show. Possibly have a nip slip. Camping tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways. It smells pretty good. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Almost smells like a Kool-Aid or something. Doesn't really smell super bearish. Smell-wise, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 for fruit punch. Alright, let's do this. We may make it to camping tomorrow with this being out of date. Yeah. So like I said, as long as this has been sitting, I don't know if it's genuinely true to its original flavors. Because as of right now, this feels pretty weak. A, as my eyes are watering. A, it feels weak as a manly bear. Okay, as a manly bear. A manly bear. A, a, a manly welder bear. A manly um, woodsman bear. A manly, you know what I'm saying, a manly beer. Now then, for those manly men that drink Smirnoffs, etc., 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 this might be up your alley. That being said, I would take a Smirnoff over this any day. And I know Smirnoffs are generally fairly sweet, very easy to drink. This here tastes like it might have used to taste good, but it just feels weak. That's going for the manly beerness. Now then, on to, on, on to uh, point number B. Point number, not letter. Point number B. Sour beers. This thing, pretty weak. Now, like I said, this beer's almost getting close to two years of past expiration date. So maybe when it first started, this thing was sour as all get out, as a warhead, you know? I've had beers, sour beers, you drink them and it's sour. Not sour anymore. Barely of a sour beer sourness. I'm gonna give this a two out of ten. I'm I'm catching the drift that yeah, this probably used to be a sour beer. It's not sour. I could literally give this 
to a young child and they could easily drink this with the fact that it doesn't taste that good. They'd be like, I don't know if I like that or not, but I'm thirsty, so I'm going to go ahead and still drink it. Obviously, I'm not promoting giving children beer. Hey, come in, Cyrus. What's wrong with you? But that's how weak this is. Wicked Weed Brewing. Wicked Weed Brewing. If this is Wicked Weed, if this is Wicked, Wicked, flipping Caillou, for those parents that have watched Caillou, that guy is of the devil. So rating for manliness beer, 2 out of 10. Rating for sourness beer, 2 out of 10. Rating for beer in general, all beers, this is a pretty low beer rating. I could drink this if I was thirsty. I could drink this. But if I'm expecting a beer, I want a beer. It's the end of the day, it was hot, and I was outside mowing all day and doing fairly vigorous activities. I want a beer. That's not going to count it. Cut it. Wicked Weed Brewing Watermelon Dragon Fruit Burst Session Sour is not going to cut it. Now, if this was good two years ago, I do apologize. Two years later, it's not good. Not cutting it. This may be my worst beer review ever. I've had IPAs. Most of the IPAs rate higher than this. And they taste terrible in general. We're done here. Disappointment for me. Cool looking can. Fruity can. Disappointing beer at the time of this recording. Hope camping's better than this beer tomorrow. I may wish I'd stayed home and watched the Rihanna halftime show instead if it was that bad.